great to see you guys today. It's so phenomenal to be able to share the word of God with you this morning, this evening. I really like you, this church, how you focus on allowing the leaders to preach and take the microphone. So, Pastor Flora, I respect your leadership. You're amazing. <laughs> I respect you too. Let's, Let's give a big round of applause for your district leader, Flora. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, yeah, can you believe that, that we actually passed all those exams? <laughs> actually, we passed six exams. Yes, we passed six exams. I love winning. I'm like super competitive. Dude, um, I know, so when I said they when they said that we set a record, I'm like, yes. Yes. <laughs> and um, I love it that in Christianity we're the winners. I mean, the Bible is full of us being victorious. Amen? Uh, we are overcomers. And, and last time I preached, I preached about us being more than conquerors. Which is kind of funny because today, I'm going to talk about losing. And this is my sermon title. It's called, What's Blocking Your Blessings? Even though I love winning, there's a time for losing and submitting. I had a, my little son. My little son is five years old, back in the day. He would come to me and say, Daddy, let's wrestle. So he would jump on me. And he'd be like grappling with me. Now he's this size. I'm this size. If I really wanted to fight him, I would beat him so bad. And even though I'm so competitive, what do I do? Exactly. I let him win. I use my strength to protect him. I'm stronger, but I stop his head from hitting the floor. I'm stronger, but I stop his head from hitting the floor. And in the end, I'm on the floor. And he's on top of me. He's like, I win, Daddy, I win. In my strength, I lose. So let's read Psalm 133 together. Would you please stand with me as we read this scripture? Pastor Flora, would you please take us away? Let's Wow. At Mount Hermon is in Lebanon, where Eric was just. Oh, yeah, this now, before you find a seat, I want you to turn to a new neighbor and answer this question. Have you ever had a leader who knew less than you did? Answer the question. Go. Fantastic. All right, you may have a seat. All right, great. Who is, who's hiding behind the pillar? 
邊個匿埋喺條柱後面啦？可唔可以誒誒鋪頭啊 ？You can sit there if you want. I know that's fine. You can sit there. I'm just saying. 而家你匿埋喺嗰度都好嘅呢邊咧，睇唔睇到啊？咁其實佢都好中意見到曬你嚟。If you're happy, I'm happy. 你開心我就開心㗎啦。All right. So having a leader who knows less than you do. 如果有一個領袖仲識嘢少過你。So I had an interview one time for a job at. 咁我有一次咧去見工喎，喺邊咧 ？McDonald's. McDonald's. I came to the interview in my blazer, you know, and my slacks. Oh, that I, I look just size, size, just size. Come to get a job. But the manager sits down in a grubby shirt. But the manager sits down in a grubby shirt. But the manager sits down in a grubby shirt. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger than me and less educated than me. He was younger You a fifty dollar bill. How much do you give her back? And I'm like, in my heart, I'm like, dude, do you know where I went to university? Now that was my disgusting ego. And God had to speak to me right then and there. Guard your heart, Steve. Don't get offended. Submit. Submit. Quick question. How do you know that you have offense towards someone? Okay, you know you are holding on to offense when you are no longer teachable by that person. Now, I one time I had a pastor that I got offended at. And I became unteachable by him. I just shut off my willingness to receive. And I blocked off my own blessings with my offense. But God revealed to me my stinking thinking, and I had to repent. And 跟住咧，神咧就顯示俾我睇呢個咁差嘅思想，咁我就悔改啦。It wasn't the pastor; I was the one that had to get rid of my offense. 唔關嗰個牧師事啦，係我啊要呢個冒犯離開我。Then I became teachable again. 咁我就可以受教啦。Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I have the same question again. How do you know you have offense towards someone? 咁啊，又有呢個問題啦。仲有啲咩嘢令你知道你被人服冒犯、被人得罪咧 ？You know you're holding on to offense when you cannot submit to that person. 你知道你已經被人冒犯，當你發現自己唔能夠順服。I see some of you guys are taking notes. Awesome. 啊，有啲人寫都寫好好好好。Okay, we're going to talk about submission. 而家我要講順服。This is going to hurt some of you so bad. Some people will feel very hurt, very hurt. But that's okay because I'm leaving and Pastor Floor can talk to you later. Don't worry, I'll give you a hug. I am so happy that I get to break your bones. I'm so happy that I get to break your bones. I'm so happy that I get to break your bones. I'm so happy that I get to break your bones. I'm so happy that I get to break your bones. So let's go to the place where we Christians always start. Okay, let's go back to the place where we Christians always start. Okay, let's go back to the place where we Christians always start. The word of God. The word of God. Read this aloud with me, please. 请你跟住我一齐读。读呢句，彼此顺服，出于对基督嘅敬畏。下边仲有嘅 ？Yeah, keep going. For wives, yeah. 对位，对妻子嚟讲，呢个意味住乜嘢咧？对丈夫，你即系咩咧？哦吼。Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. You may have not realized this was in the Bible. Okay. Go home and read the rest of this. It'll turn your life upside down. But for now, get this point. Submission is a virtue. God commands submission. Why? What is it about submission that is good for us? And what is it about non-submission that is disgusting in God's sight? Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence. For our first definition of submission. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Okay, let's look at the very opening sentence for our first mind-blowing point. Ok
佢話彼此順服。Sorry, go back one, please. 未未係呢張曬。Okay, thank you. It's not just wives submitting to their husbands. 唔係淨係妻子順服丈夫啊。It's also husbands submitting to their wives. 丈夫都要順服妻子喎。The incredible thing about the scripture that we read is this: it is written to the most equal relationship that you can get among humans, husband and wife. 呢段經文咧最令人難以置信嘅咧就係佢係講緊人類之間最平等嘅關係，係講緊。And into this equal relationship, Paul says something so paradoxical. 但係喺呢一個咁男女平等嘅關係裏邊咧，保羅竟然講咗句好矛盾嘅説話。You're equal. 你係平等嘅。Therefore, submit. 所以順服。He'd be like, wait, if we're equal, how can we submit? 嚇，如果係平等，做咩做咁樣有人要順服啊 ？The lesser should submit to the greater, right? 咁細嘅應該順服大嘅嘛。But Paul says you're equal, therefore submit. Paul, 但系话佢话你平等，所以顺服喎。Mutual submission. 呢个互相顺服。You're in an argument with your equal, you submit. 你哋两个嗌交，但系你哋系平等嘅，咁咪顺服咯。But how? How is it possible to have submission in an equal relationship? 咁但系点样可以喺个平等关系里边都讲到顺服咧？ Are you ready for your theological mind blowing? 有你预备好未？呢个神学震荡嘅时刻嚟啦。The Trinity submits. 三位一体嘅神系顺服嘅。嗯。Christians believe that God is Trinity。基督徒相信神系三位一体噶。This does not that mean he is three separate gods。但系唔代表佢系三个分开嘅神。But that he is one God, three persons。佢系一个神，三个位格。The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit。圣父、圣子、圣灵。The Father is God, Jesus the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God。圣父系神，圣子耶稣系神，圣灵都系神。But the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. 但系圣父唔系圣子，圣子唔系圣灵，圣灵都唔系圣父。And yet, in this equal relationship, the Son submits to the Father. 但系喺呢一个平等嘅关系里边，耶稣系顺服天父嘅喎。Here, Jesus the Son says this. 喺呢度啦，耶稣圣子就咁讲啦。大家睇睇呢个圣经。I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me, not to do my own will. 因为我从天上降下来，不是要按自己嘅意思而行，乃系要按那差我来者嘅意思啊。Whoa, Jesus is equal to the Father, and yet he submits to the Father. 耶稣系同天父同等嘅，但系佢竟然顺服天父喎。Here, also check this out. The famous Gethsemane scene. Okay, Pastor Floor, you read through this. He Wow. Three times Jesus looked for an alternative solution. Please not the cross. But even though Jesus is equal to the Father, Jesus submits to the Father. So if you submit, you're being like Jesus. And here's why my take-home point of the day. When you submit, you're being God-like. But if you refuse to submit, that's the devil. Ego. Pride. That's not the kingdom way. So you know you've got a fence against someone if you cannot submit to them. And as we studied last time, oh sorry, I said this, I'll preach this another time, sorry. Okay, so offense will block your blessings. Okay, submission. 
Let's define this in two different ways. Definition number one. Submission means I completely disagree with you, but I'm going to do it passionately like it was my decision. Look what Jesus just did. Three times he asked for an alternative to the crucifixion. Father, I do not like this idea of suffering. Dying on a cross, no thanks. But Jesus submits. And when he submits, he doesn't drag his feet. Or mumble. Or gossip. Or tell his disciples, Dad is unfair. Man, Dad is always trying to take away my fun. No, when Jesus submits, he owns it. To the death. Brothers and sisters, when you truly submit, it means that you own it. You rock it and you do it and you tell others about it as if it was your own decision. Okay, that's submission. Now, because you might be staggering under the weight of the implications, let me broaden your perspective. When the Bible talks about submitting, here's a second definition. Submission means under the mission. Okay, sub as in under, submarine. And the mission, of course, means it's who are we coming, what we're doing, where we're going. The mission is So when you come into submission, it means that you realize you're under the same mission and unity with the mission that's above you. So I want you to turn to your favorite neighbor and say, under the mission. So, okay, you, under my mission. Okay. Now, when you and your wife realize that you're under the same mission, God's mission, then you can submit to each other. When you realize that you and your crazy boss are under the same mission of the company, you can submit to him even if he's a jerk. You did a great job, man. Thumbs up, man. You're, 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 oh, I love it. Just give a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you for letting me throw you under the bus. Okay, when you realize that you and your small group leader are under the same mission of the church, you can submit to her authority. Even if you disagree. Because you're under the same mission. Okay, let me give you an example. Now you can show the picture. Okay. Uh, uh, Yesha was our production leader. That's Yesha in the brown shirt. Yesha is the same age as my my son. I am 46, she is 21. I am 93 kilos, she is 43 kilos. I am the pastor. She is the mere volunteer. I outrank her. So when I say Yesha, on Sunday, I want to show the video of my boss, Pastor Mark. She doesn't go, actually. I saw this amazing sermon of another pastor, Pastor Stephen Furtick. I want to show his video instead. No, we're under the same mission of our local church, Kingdom City. So she submits. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Uh -huh. 
But the flip side is true. I once got a text message from Yesha that said this. Pastor Steve, did you tell Liz to get the church laptop from Ethan? And I said, yep. Now, remember, she is the production leader. Which includes computers. And she says, and I quote, It would be awesome if I was informed about this in the future. I think it's important for me to be in the loop on where the church laptop goes. For this situation, it's a direct instruction from you, which is awesome. I just hope to be informed in the future regarding anything about production. Smiley face emoji. Now, I have to admit, and I said this to Yesha later. My ego did slightly flare up for a moment. Did this girl half my size and half my age just try to correct me? Me, the pastor? But praise the Lord. God was quick to shine the flashlight on my disgusting ego. And I realized this. I am under the same mission that she is under. So I can submit to her. So I texted her back. You're absolutely right. I 100% agree with you. I should let you know where that computer goes. Sorry, boss. Sorry, I called her boss. And I never did that again. Because we were under the same mission. So submission means this. Write this down. Submission means bringing your life into alignment under the mission. Mm. So what does this mean you need to do? It means that you need to get to the point where you can realize with absolute certainty that God placed you under this mission. And therefore, this is a mission you're going to walk by. So get this conviction in your heart. God put me here. Therefore, I will submit. Can you show that one? Yeah, boom. Write that down. <laughs> Pastor Flora. Yeah. God put us where we are. Yes. Right? Yeah. We will submit. We submit. To our new bosses. To our new bosses. Can I hear a main amen? Okay, then. <laughs> Come on, so good. And if God moves me somewhere else, I'm going to submit there. But whatever happens, I will not throw an adult temper tantrum. I'm guilty of that. Okay, now let's look at the other side of this. Submission is not. Number one, submission is not about who is more right. Right now, I can tell so many of you guys are struggling. Yes, I know I'm right where God wants me, but... My leader's an idiot. Or I know more than my leader. Or my leader is not a Christian. Or my leader makes dumb decisions. Okay, I see. If you know what I'm talking about, just nod your head. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, I can see it. It's like, yes. Okay. But godly submission is not a promise that you are following someone who knows more than you. Godly competition is, sorry, godly submission is not a competition to see who's more intelligent. 
And godly submission is not a matter of who has the bigger title. I guarantee that when God put you where you are, he knew exactly who he's putting you under. And God also knew that whoever you're submitting to is flawed. Oh yeah, God puts you under an imperfect leader on purpose. So here's a principle to remember. Leadership is godly, but not every leader is godly. I guarantee you will eventually have to submit to someone where you know way more than them in an area. So why did God put you underneath that leader? To stretch your humility. So you can work on unity. So you can work on your teachability. Guys, there's so many times that I knew that I knew more than my leader did. And I had to submit to them. And I'd get offended and frustrated and I'd wrestle with God. And I'd wrestle with myself, but I had to remind myself of this. You might want to take a picture of these ones, please. God is not impressed if you have a better solution than your leader. Your alignment is more important than your attainment. Oh, to unite is more important than being right. And your heart of submission is more important then your better solution. God is interested if you have a heart that can yield. Not so interested that you have a better idea than your leader. Okay, here's a, here's a quick note for parents. Okay, all right, parents, you with me? Okay, so. When parenting together, unity is more important than being right. It's better for your kids to see you united than it is for you to get your way in front of your spouse. Okay, when it comes to our kids, of course my wife and I argued about our kids' boundaries. But we made a promise to never argue in front of the kids. We have our discussion in the bedroom quietly. And we argue, we argue about their po tattoos, pocket money, discipline, boys, girls, curfew, TV time, all that stuff. And one of us has to submit. Behind closed doors. Our hearts had to yield to one another behind closed doors. Then when we emerge from our bedroom and talk to our offspring, we are united. Together. What mommy says is what daddy says. And what daddy says is what mommy says. Never, ever, ever would we say, Mommy said no. But here's some money. Go ahead. Okay, good cop, bad cop parenting, not allowed in our house. And never, ever, ever would I correct my wife in front of the kids. Oh, she would say something I completely disagreed with. Oh, and I would turn red. And purple. But I would suck it up. And talk to her later in private. Because unity is more important than being right. And uh, we have three kids. I think it laid a foundation for them to be secure. 
好安全，好有安全感。In case you're wondering, you can come to our church tomorrow. I still have two girls with me. You can ask them. 啊，聽日你可以嚟我嘅教會咧，我兩個女都喺度，你可以問下佢哋噶。Your, your dad. Yeah, not going to your church. Okay. <laughs> Number two. 第二點。Submission is not. 信服唔係。Obeying externally but rebelling internally. 外表順從但係內心叛逆啊。Going to your team and saying, oh, "Guys, we're doing this because the boss says so." 誒，同你個 team 人講話，我哋咁做，即係因為個老闆講啫。That's not a posture of submission. 其實呢一個咪一個順服嘅姿勢。That is a posture of division. 係一個分裂嘅姿勢啊。What's even worse than that is someone who goes to their team and says something like this. 有啲仲衰啊，佢同個 team 咁樣講。Okay, guys. I submit to the boss. 好，我順服個老細。We're gonna do this because he thinks we should do this. 我而家咁做係因為佢覺得咁係啱嘅啫。But what I really wanted to do was this. 不過其實我想做嘅係咁。That is not creating unity. 呢個唔係製造緊合一。That's hundred percent creating disunity. 一個呢個一百個 percent 製造緊不合一。That's not a posture of submission. 呢個唔係一個順服嘅姿態。That's an undermining your own organization. 呢個係你破壞緊你嘅機構啊。Number three. 第三。Submission is not. Saying yes to absolutely everything. Yes, he do a yes. Obviously, lie. You don't submit to anything illegal or immoral or something that goes against the word of God. 好明显，你唔系要，你一定唔会顺服任何啲非法啊、唔道德啊或者一啲违背神嘅说话嘅嘢。So how do you know when to submit and when to fight? 咁你点知道几时去顺服，几时你要去诶竭力跟争取咧？ If it's a preference, submit. 如果係個人喜好，順服啊。If it's a principle, fight. 如果只係原則，咁就要爭取啦。Okay, here's an example in my house. 呢個咧就喺我屋企裏邊嘅一個例子。Going into debt. 啊，就係負債嘅問題。I hate debt. 我最憎就係債啊。Some of you guys don't care, but I hate debt. 有啲人覺得冇所謂，但係我最憎嘅啦。If my wife said, "Babe, let's get a loan so that we can get the five hundred thousand dollar BMW instead of buying the fifty thousand dollar second hand Toyota outright." 咁如果我老我太太話：老公啊，不如我哋借錢啦，咁啊買架五十萬美金嘅 B M 啦，好過誒買架五萬蚊嘅二手 Toyota 啦。I have a principle. I don't want to debt. 我有原則嘅喎，我唔中意負債㗎。So I will fight against that. 所以我一定會反對。But when she comes to me and gives me those puppy dog eyes. 但係如果佢嚟到好似狗狗仔嘅眼睛望我。Babe, can I have some money for shoes? 阿你可唔可以俾啲錢我買鞋啊 ？I want to say no. 我想講唔得。That's my preference. 但係呢個只係我個人喜好。So I suck it up and submit. 跟住我就話有真吞咗佢話啊順服啦。Fine, here you go. Credit card. Okay, credit card 俾你啦。I'll say this in different words. 我我會用你嘅方法講。If it's your opinion, submit. 如果呢個係你嘅意見，順服。If it's your conviction, stand. 如果係你嘅信念，咁你站起來，企硬。For example, say that my wife was a vegan based on her conviction. 嗱，例如咧，我嘅假如我嘅誒太太咧係食齋嘅，咁佢啊呢個係佢嘅堅信嚟啊嘛。But for me, my diet is a preference. 但係對於我嚟講咧，食咩嘢嘢咧個人喜好咯。我真係中意 everything， 乜都食噶嘛。Do you want to know what even the Apostle Paul says? Yes, you know. Even if Paul, ah, he says, "Could you show First Corinthians eight thirteen, please?" Ah, see, ah, I got enough time to read that chapter. If what I eat causes another believer to sin, I will never eat meat again as long as I live, for I don't want to cause another believer to stumble. Ah, see, ah, if what I eat causes another believer to sin, I will never eat meat again as long as I live, for I don't want to cause another believer to stumble. Now, specifically, this context was about eating meat that had been sacrificed to idols. 尤其是咧，其實呢個傳聞下你睇落去咧，佢唔係講緊誒，佢係講緊，佢唔係講緊嗰啲咧製過偶像嘅肉啊。Right, yeah, not about eat, eating meat because of animal cruelty, but look at the very, very strong statement that Paul is making about submission. 係啦，唔係講緊嗰啲咧誒虐待個誒動物而而食嗰啲肉，而係講緊保羅對順服做咗個非常非常非常非常強烈嘅聲明。Can you show the statement, please? Don't damage someone. Else's conviction, man. Just submit to the mission. Don't 破坏别人嘅信念，只系需要服从个任务就得啦。Next one, please. I think it's right. Yeah, one more. Yeah, last one. Okay, there you go. Boom. Can you read that again, Pastor Hor? Don't 破坏别人嘅信念，只需服从任务。Here's a quick side note. Ah, this one. Yeah. Everyone here, at some point or another, has incorrectly turned their opinions 
into convictions. 但係個個人咧，都喺某啲時候咧，好錯誤咁樣咧，將佢嘅個人觀點咧，就話變成係一個信念。And we all know that we've incorrectly turned our preferences into principles. 亦都係做錯誤咁樣咧，明明係即係你嘅個人喜好，又話呢個係原則。And when you realize that you're doing that, 但係如果你知道喺度做緊咁樣樣咧 ，you just got to chill out. 唔該你冷靜一下。Stop being annoying. 唔好再咁煩。Amen. <laughs> And I'm going to end with these four quick points about what submission is. 啊，最後咧，啊，再講四點，順服係乜嘢嚟嘅？好快噶。誒，唔該，誒，琴手。Just give us some pad, something cool. 俾少少背誒伴樂啊，唔該。Submission is. 順服係。Number one, submission is trust. 係信任。Submission requires you to trust. 順服需要你信任啊。Yes, it means you trust the leader, but that's not all. 即係話，係啊，你需要信任你嘅領袖，但係呢個唔止係咁。It means that you trust that God has put you under that leader. 即係話你相信係神擺你喺呢一個領袖下邊。And if you simply cannot trust the leader, then do the noble thing. 如果你根本就冇辦法信任呢一個領袖嘅話，做一件好崇高嘅事。Get off the bus. 落車。Don't be the one to divide. 唔好成為嗰個分裂嘅人啊。Okay, by the way, of course, this does not mean to leave your marriage. 誒唔緊，唔係講緊你要離開個婚姻。A marriage is a life covenant. Unlike any other that falls into its own category of God shaping you into something in disciple. 係啊，佢比起所有其他契約係唔同嘅，呢個係係屬於神誒塑造你同訓練你嘅範疇嚟嘅。But for almost any other category, don't be the one to divide. Get off the bus if you need to. 係啊，所以但係對於所有其他嘅範疇咧，唔該你，如果你唔能夠順服就落車啦。Number two, submission is the key to authority. 第二順服就係你得到權柄嘅關鍵。Authority in Christ comes from a revelation of submission and how submission works. 喺基督里边嘅权柄系嚟自顺服同埋顺服点样运作嘅启示。If you don't understand submission, you will have no authority in Christ. 如果你唔明白顺服嘅话，你喺主里边冇权柄。Check out the story in Matthew chapter eight verse five. 我哋睇下咧，诶，马太福音里边呢个故事。I love how Jesus is amazed here. 你話我好中意睇到呢個耶穌咧，覺得哇，好好神奇啊，好奇妙啊！係耶穌進到加百路，有一個百夫長嚟到求佢話：主啊，我嘅僕人害癱瘓病，躺喺家裏，甚至痛苦。耶穌對佢話：我去醫治佢。百夫長回答：主啊，你去我屋企，我唔敢當。下一章，只要你講一句話，我嘅僕人就會好噶啦，因為喺我。因為我喺人嘅權下，亦都有兵喺我之下。我對人咁樣講話咧，去啦，佢就會去；對呢個人講話嚟啦，佢就會嚟；對我嘅僕人講話去做呢件事啦，佢就會去做。耶穌聽見就希奇，對跟從嘅人説：我實在告訴你，什麼大嘅信心喺以色列裏邊，我從來冇見過。I love it that Jesus was amazed。我好中意見到耶穌好希奇啊 ！You want authority？ 你想要權柄 ？It starts with submission。你要順服。If you're lacking spiritual authority, check your heart. How's your submission? Number three, submission is where a blessing is commanded. I heard the statement that Christians just throw around unity commands a blessing. It sounds like a bumper sticker, and I was even skeptical that it came from the Bible. But I found it. This is such a beautiful song. Would you read it aloud with Pastor Flora again? Wow. When you submit to your spouse, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a blessing. When you submit to your leader, that's where Yahweh has decreed a bl
合一係值得奮力爭取嘅。I know this sounds like an oxymoron。你呢個好似聽上嚟好矛盾啊。Fight for unity。要係奮力爭取，爭取合一。At、one time, I had to kick a guy out of church because he was causing division. 有一次咧，我要需要踢一個人出教會，因為佢喺度搞緊分裂。This old guy would go over to people. 呢一個人咧會走去啲人嗰度。And then take him over to the side. 跟住拉佢過嚟。And start talking to him. 跟住同佢講喎。You know about and singling them out. 佢直情係拉佢啊，逐個拉佢。Like a lion, you know, attacking somebody. A wildebeest. Like a lion, you know, attacking somebody. A wildebeest. And so I, I had to confront him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him and say, "What are you doing?" Then I went to go to him So of course I had to get the leaders together and say, guys, we need to deal with this guy. Yeah, then I just have to find the leaders to deal with this guy. Attack him. We did it with love. We gave him a hug. 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 But that's something to think about here in this church. Hey, 有啲嘢我哋喺呢一度百灵要谂一谂。Wherever you're working or living or worshiping, you want a culture of unity. 无论你系做紧嘢啦，生活啦，亦或嚟嚟教翻教会，你系需要一个合一嘅文化。So whether it's your church or your home or your workplace, if something or somebody is disrupting the culture of unity, speak up. 如果你喺你嘅工作啊、教會、屋企啊，嗰度有人喺度破壞緊合一嘅話，你一定要出聲。Unity is worth fighting for. 合一係值得奮力爭取噶，因為嗰度有神命定嘅福氣。Now, okay, so this might be the hardest sermon that you've ever heard. 呢個咧可能係你聽過嘅最難頂嘅，唔記得到。Because it's ingrained into us that the weak submit. 因為咧係對於我哋個心嚟講咧，有根深蒂固嘅意念，就係弱者先至會順服。But as I said earlier, when you have your strength. You can submit to let your son, your little kid, win. 就係頭先我講過啦。如果係你係有力量、有能力嘅話，就會避免你個仔會係冚親啦。It's actually only the strong that can submit. 其實係嗰啲強者先至會順服噶。Because mature people see beyond their personal preference and see that they are under the mission. 因為成熟嘅人先至會睇到喺自己可以放低自己嘅個人喜好，睇見自己係使命之下。But I do feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. But I, I really feel that I have an encouraging word for most of you here. I know some of us right now we're we're actually shaken up. 有啲人可能而家個心喺度震緊。Because some of you have prided yourself in being stubborn against your leaders. 因為呢個中間可能有啲人因為好頑固咁反對你嘅領導咧，但係覺得好自豪，自豪嘅喎。Some of us have prided ourselves in being unsubmissive to our spouse. 有啲人咧可能覺得佢唔順服自己嘅嘅配偶咧，佢覺得好自豪喎。Some of us have prided ourselves on never backing down ever. 有啲人咧覺得自己從來係唔會讓步嘅，佢會感到自豪。And you thought. That was the strongest trait on your team. You 覺得自己係自己嗰嗰隊人裏邊咧係最強嘅喎。And you now you're coming to the scripture, the Holy Spirit's flipping your worldview upside down. 而家我哋睇完經文之後咧，哇！聖經真係將聖靈真係叫佢反轉啊。And you might be thinking of how horrible you've been and how you're and you're quite humiliated right now. 可能你喺度諗啊，哇！你原來真係好好可怕，或者覺得哇好慚愧啊。And you might not even know how to begin with this. It just seems so heavy. 誒，你咁嘅甚至唔知道要邊度開始，好好沉重啊。You're just like, oh my goodness, how am I supposed to face my boss or my colleagues now? 真唔知點算啊！咁樣即係點樣面對我同事或者我老闆啊 ？So here's a word that I feel that I have for you. 所以呢度咧，我有誒一個一啲説話要同你講。Jesus says that his burden is light. 耶穌話佢嘅擔子輕散。You don't have to throw out your whole career or your business or your relationship. 你唔使成個事業掉咗佢，或者你嘅工、你嘅生意或者關係。
All you have to do is apply a little bit of weight in the right place. 你只需要喺一啲正確嘅地方加少少重量，做少少嘢。In Hebrew, the word weight is translated honor. 喺誒希伯羅文咧，誒重量呢個字咧係翻譯成為誒 honor， 尊榮。All you have to do is put a little bit of honor in the right place. You just need to do is put some respect in the right place. It's like this. I remember way back in high school, I had a class that taught me how to align a car wheel. Oh, I remember. Like in high school, we had a class that taught me how to align a car wheel. Oh, I remember. Like in high school, we had a class that taught me how to align a car wheel. Oh, I remember. Like in high school, we had a class that taught me how to align a car wheel. Oh, I remember. Like in high school, we had a class that taught me how to align a car wheel. Oh, I remember. Like in high school, we had a class that taught me how to align a car wheel. It should go straight if your wheels are aligned. 如果你啲四個碌係對齊嘅話，佢應該行直線噶。But if one wheel is just a little bit misaligned, the car pulls to the side. 但係如果有一個碌咧唔係對得齊嘅話咧，就個車就會去走埋邊。It's like the wheel is not submitting to the unity of the direction of the whole car. 就好似個碌咧係唔順服於呢架車四個碌嘅合一啦。But you don't have to throw away the wheel. 但係你唔使掉咗個碌嘅。There is this cool tire spinning machine. Yeah, yeah, 有一個誒機器咧係誒誒轉嘅轉轉個碌嘅。You take the wheel of the car and you put it on the spinner. 你咧就成個車碌擺上嗰個機嗰度咧，咁佢就會喺度轉啊。You spin it on the machine so you can see where it goes. 跟住佢你喺度轉佢就你就會聽到邊度勁拎過嚟咁嘈啊。And all you have to do to correct the problem. 係你只要你要去糾正呢個問題咧，你只係需要咧。Is super glue one or two little weights? In the right place. 用咧誒麻糖膠咧黐一兩個呢啲重量嘅嘢落個胎。And then boom, your wheel is balanced. 跟住佢就會誒平衡咗佢嘅重量嘅咯。No more wonka wonka wonka. 就唔使再勁拎過龍啦。Your car doesn't pull off the road. 嗰個車就唔會離開個馬路啦。Unity is restored. 恢復合一啦。The wheel has now come into submission with the vision of the driver. 而家個車碌咧，終於肯順服喺嗰個司機嘅視野啦。So don't panic. Don't beat yourself up. Don't get anxious. Don't get depressed. Do not hold on to shame. Don't you think? Don't think that you have to leave the country to avoid your leader. You don't have to leave the country to Jesus is amazing at aligning your life right where you are. Jesus 咧系好巧妙咁喺度调整紧你嘅生命，喺你而家所处嘅地方。There's a testimony of alignment coming. 好快就会有关于对齐嘅见证。All you have to do is put a little bit of weight in the right place. 你只要需要将嗰个重量摆喺个啱嘅地方。And the whole problem is corrected. 咁成個問題就可以修正啦。Just put that little bit of honor in the right place. 就將尊榮擺喺啱嘅地方。Sir, I honor you. 阿 Sir， 我尊榮你，尊敬你。It's that submissiveness. Put it in the right place. 就係呢一種順服擺喺正確嘅地方。Honey, I respect you. Honey， 我尊重你。Put that surrender in the right place. 将呢一个降服摆喺正确嘅位置。Brother or sister, yes, I'm with you. 系啊，我撑你噶Spirit, may your spirit of submission be in this place. 神啊，圣灵，我愿你顺服嘅灵喺呢个地方。Where we've been out of alignment, show us. 喺边一度我哋脱离咗轨迹，请你脱离咗合一啊，对齐，请你 show 俾我哋睇。Where I need to come into alignment with with my spouse, show me. 喺边一度我需要同我嘅配偶对齐，请你俾我睇
where I've been unsubmissive to my boss, show me. Where I've been dishonoring to my employees, show me. Where I've been stubborn with my family, show us. And Lord God, I pray for restoration. Wow, I literally I see Jesus putting his hand into people's hearts and pulling stuff out. Worship team, could you just lead us in that song of surrender so that we can let the Holy Spirit process what he needs to process in our lives?